the oldest city in North Carolina. Mm. <laughs> it's gonna be a very beautiful cruise today. It's really cool! We're having a bit of a date night. We're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we booked a one-way flight to Colombia, and after traveling to 11 countries, we were locked down in India for five months. Coming back to the U.S., we decided to pivot into boat life and cruise on a 6,000-mile journey called America's Great Loop. Make sure to subscribe as we share the highs, lows, and everything in between. Good morning here in New Bern. Bear City. Yeah, New Bern is a new to us city. We did not visit New Bern on our journey north last year, so we're so excited to be here. We did a, like a brief walking around yesterday when we took Ollie out, and now we're gonna do that again. Hopefully, see a few cool sights before we hit the road. Hit the water. Hit the water. <laughs> <laughs> about a great spot to drop the hook. Like we had uh, some fetch yesterday, as you guys saw, but at like uh, maybe like 10 and 10 p.m. it really calmed out and it's supposed to be calm all day today. I mean, we don't have much protection, but the town dock is right here. Like the water is so pretty, it's really nice. We were told that the Noose River does not usually look like this and that forecasts for the river are usually pretty low. Reality is that it's always really like choppy or like it's not as nice as what it's predicted. So I think we really lucked out with how like calm and beautiful the weather that we got is. You are on the edge girlfriend, on the edge. <laughs> Union Point Park here in New Bern has a waterfront and with some docks, public docks that you can use. And these were destroyed in Hurricane Florence in 2018, but now they're up and operational again. So that's where we're getting to today. And there's a beautiful park and we can walk all the way on. And then there's a path underneath the bridge to historical downtown New Bern. Newburn has a ton of history. It is the oldest city in North Carolina. And right here is the Tryon Palace. Now this palace is a recreation of the 1760s palace. And what had happened was there was a highway built over it. it survived the Revolutionary War, survived the Civil War, and then a highway was built over it. And then they realized that there were still the bones of this awesome uh, historical building and then they rebuilt it. You can take a tour of the grounds. There's a bunch of gardens. There's the recreation of the palace itself for $20. And one of the really cool things about this place is that George Washington was said to have stayed here. The New Bern Firemen's Museum dates back to 1955, telling of the oldest fire company in the state of North Carolina, the Great Fire of 22. There's a tour that you can take. Admission into the museum is $7 a person. Ollie says, it's too hot. Do you guys know that I have a black fur coat that I wear? It is so hot out here. All right, come on, let's go. We are currently on Middle Street, and Middle Street seems to be kind of like their little walkable main street in a way. 
and it's beautiful. There are trees that are canopied over the road, and there's a sign that says that the street closes for automobile traffic, and that it's only pedestrian at 5 p.m. on Friday. So I imagine that 5 p.m. today it becomes a little bit more lively, and people come out and enjoy the street, and yeah. We are here at Cow Cafe, and they have more than just ice cream. We got ice cream because it's a treat for us. And the inside was kind of like a old school soda shop, so or like ice cream shops and stuff like that. They had like a train going around the uh, perimeter of the ceiling. It was just really neat in there. But today, I got a, a one scoop sundae with salted toffee ice cream, and Elliot got a banana split. Oh, a Munilla split. A Munilla with chocolate and strawberry. All right, let's try yours, see how it is. Mm, this looks very good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. <laughs> you know it's good when it's two bites before we get how it mm. is. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh, it tells everybody. Mmm, uh, yeah. that's good. <laughs> Mmm, that was so good. Ice cream is super creamy, super creamy. There's like the bite of the like crunchies inside of it. Whipped cream, chocolate sauce. Mmm. Going for strawberry first. So it's no surprise, I love bananas. I have a banana almost every single morning. And we've gotten a lot of comments about having bananas on boats, but not willing to give them up. Mm. It's like the perfect thing to have today. It's so hot but the ice cream is just so creamy, delicious. And then there's whipped cream, got the cherries on top, got the fudge, and then of course you got the banana, and the banana's chilled. So that's, I don't know, it just all works together. Classic Sunday. Mmm. All right, now let's eat them before they uh, melt. Yeah. Ice cream was absolutely the right decision right now. That was so good. And now we're gonna walk back through Middle Street and head back to Union Point Park and see more of New Bern. As we're walking around New Bern, we found an Indian restaurant. They have Indian movies playing inside, so we think it'd probably be a good spot. We also spotted the Nicholas Sparks Foundation, which in Beaufort, there's a Nicholas Sparks like bike ride tour that you could go on that kind of touches on some of the places that he mentions and I don't know which specific book because a lot of his books take place in the North Carolina area. So very cool. That was the first fact that I learned about New Bern is that it is the birthplace of Pepsi-Cola. And uh, that's cool, a little commemorative side corner. You sit? <gasps> Thank you so much. Oh boy. That's so sweet. <laughs> Bye. Bye. That was very cool. Okay, we're off. It's gonna be a very beautiful day today. Goodbye, New Bern. We had a fabulous time here and would totally recommend coming back. That was such a treat. I really, as an architect and city planner, I really enjoyed seeing all the people that were out and about in the streets, enjoying the city and enjoying all the, the places there were. So, a very positive experience in our book. Hi, Pivot. Just like that, we're off. On the way to Oriental. It's a very simple cruise today, just straight down the noose. Uh, not a lot of turns and not a lot of shoaling, so that is very nice. And uh, it's the wind is like super, super light. It's gonna be a great cruise for the trawler.
We've seen like 20, maybe 30 stingray. And it's crazy because like we're in a river. It's crazy. So cool though. They're like swimming just at the below the surface of the water, maybe six inches down. It's pretty cool. It's, no, it's really cool. What a beautiful cruise so far coming to Oriental. Jen's been helming for the vast majority of the day. I just took over just not too long ago um, for the approach. I've been working on editing the vlog. Now Jen's going to be working on um, some other details for YouTube stuff. So it's been a really nice cruise. It wasn't as crystal calm glass water as it was when we left New Bern, but still not so bad. I can't ask for much better than this. And we are docking in Oriental. So that's gonna be fun. You ready to dock? Yeah. We're gonna back in. No, we're not. We're gonna read the situation first. Then we will make a decision. Then we're gonna back in. Potentially. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, we're probably we're probably bowing. Fortunately, the wind is not too bad right now, and here on the Noose River, there's practically zero current and zero tide. So that makes docking a heck of a lot easier. Uh, it's not easy, but it makes it easier. Whew. But docking still makes us anxious. We had like one really bad docking experience on our maiden voyage, our very first time docking outside of our home marina. Well, docking experience. It was technically two times, but docking experience. After that, we've had only good experiences. We've learned and learned and learned and learned, but you just we just know what can happen when your boat gets out of control. And that has like, it's like when you get older and you realize like how it's easy to get injured. You know, kids are like, oh, you know, I can just jump off this house, I'll be fine. But uh, yeah, we're like, we're no longer the kids that want to jump off the house. We're the adults that are like, you'll break your back. Ready to go. The slip is right there. You see that sailboat with the green canvas? Yeah. Which way is the wind? Like the, it's pushing us this way, so it's pushing us into it. Yeah. Okay. Shoot. Set uh, piling on or stern line on the piling. Pulling the stern in. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Just move the bow over. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. Okay. I'm getting off the boat. Okay. Here, I'll take care of mine. Thank you. I was trying well, to thank like, you for where helping are you at on the great boot? We're like coming down, going quarter. up. Yeah, we're very, like, we just started. We left Key West early March. Really tight. 
So how did I do backing in? You did a great job. I'm very impressed. Good job. Good girl. Are you enjoying being at a dock? What are you looking at? Taking a nap? We made it here to Oriental. We're having a bit of a date night because we left Ollie on the boat. Yeah. Kids are at home. And we're gonna go try to find a beer and go to New Village Brewing Company. Yeah. And as we were coming in, we had Jeff, right? Yeah, Jeff caught very, our lines. Yeah, Jeff caught our lines. He was very helpful in uh, us trying to back in. He's also our local tour guide. He's given us places to go in Oriental and in Ocracoke too, so. Yeah. He also has given us place, yeah, places in Ocracoke, so that was awesome too, because we're thinking about going there. Not, not fully like set on TBD. it. TBD. Yep. I've said it many times, I know. I would change my ways, I know for sure. When all the crows decide to leave, they settle down beneath. Been here before? Only once. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Try that one. Okay. That's the White Cap American Ale. Tonight for dinner, we decided to kind of splurge. Um, we decided to go to the food truck that was here. They had, on Friday and Saturday nights, they kind of do something a little special here at, at New Village um, Brewery. And so tonight, which is a Friday night, they have a food truck, which is Jasmine Thai. So tonight we got veggie spring rolls and a vegetable pad thai, which looks amazing, super colorful, just the way we like it. We're super excited to dive in. And then what else did we get here too? Oh yeah, and we also got two beers. I got an ale and Elliot got a very dark IPA, so yeah. Mine's a little bit more drunk than yours. <laughs> so, cheers. Cheers. I love you. It's a date night. Mm. We met so many awesome people today and yesterday evening. Yesterday evening, of course, we had Ted and Beth who took us out of Persimmons in New Bern. And it was really fun learning about their story. And then today, as we were leaving New Bern and coming to Oriental, we were stopped by Jay and Lori, who did the loop previously. It took them four years, which I think is really cool. And uh, they said they watched our videos and said hi, which is neat. And then right after we tied off here in Oriental, we were stopped by Chance and Brent, who are doing the loop right now. Yeah, currently. Uh, they're taking the time with it. They started last year and they said hi and they said they watched our videos and super kind people. Yeah. And it's just so cool. Like that's the loop, like the community, the people, you know, even like people that are not currently on the loop. It's just, it's just the greater community. Yeah, and then we had the best time in New Bern t this morning and yeah. coming back to Oriental, which is one of our favorite places on the loop. And we were talking about it and trying to reflect, like, what what is it about this place that, like, we just love? And what we came up with, and we also love this about New Bern, too, was that, like, these places just feel so authentic so hometown there's no chain restaurants stores anything that Every, we've seen at least yeah that we've seen there's in new Bern today there was a a uh, family run hardware store the ice cream place that we went to definitely was like family run and the the brewery that we went to tonight was also family run and these places just have such a yeah they're all small businesses and they are so authentic and true to their like character that you just like your heart just like opens up and like you just love like whatever it is that they're about it's it's really cool so um yeah and, yeah. We, and i we can't forget to thank richard for that's i mean that's why we're in the marina oh so my gosh yeah he's letting us use a slip so yeah Without Richard, we'd probably be anchored. We'd either be anchored or at the town dock. The town dock was open, actually, surprisingly. 
but um but thank you richard this means that we're having hot showers tonight and i'm so excited <laughs> we were honestly we were expecting to not have a dock at all in north carolina a dock that has like water and electric uh -huh. so now that we can have water i'm so going to take a shower i'm so excited it is going to be amazing so thank you richard <laughs> and with that tomorrow we don't quite know what we're going to be doing we're either leaving or we're staying because that's the first decision that we'll make tomorrow morning. But I think we might stay in Oriental. Yeah. You know. We love it. It's a place you could stay for <laughs> a very, very long time. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Yeah, thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on out. You're such a good boat dog. Land dog, I don't know about that, but you're a great boat dog. Well, I wasn't recording. No, you're joking. Joking. Did you have any parties while we were out? Oh my gosh. Oh, you had a rager? What? Did you have a rager tonight? Was it lit? Oh boy. You just got into all the trouble, didn't you? Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> right? <laughs> You said, oh, you had all the dogs in the neighborhood over. No you way. guys ate get into all the kibble and bits. No way. You ate all the treats. Yep. You knew where they were. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs>